focusing on global thirst and hunger for salvation among the heathens and the nation. And we want to read from the book of Luke chapter 2. I read from verse 8. And they were in the same country, shepherds, abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them. And they were so afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And suddenly there was the, with the great angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on the earth, peace, goodwill towards men. Here we saw the wonderful good tidings that the angels brought unto the world. At the time, our Savior, the Messiah Jesus, was born. And the message of redemption is still here today. That's why as we are gathered, we are going to pray that the God of heaven will visit and bless and save souls globally in Jesus' name. We remember also in the, epist in the book of John, there, John chapter 12, verse 19, that, and there were certain Greeks among them that came up to worship at the feast. The same came therefore to Philip, which was of Bethsaida of Galilee, and desired him, saying, Sir, we will see Jesus. Verse 23. And Jesus answered them, saying, The hour is come that the Son of Man shall be glorified. We want to thank God and bless God for the souls that we are saved in the past video, various global crusades. We want to stand up now, every one of us, as we praise God and worship God for the souls the Lord has saved through this crusade. Let's bless him. Let's appreciate him. Let's thank him for those souls. Some are kept in the faith. Some are growing in the faith. Some are maturing, and they have become fruitful in the kingdom of God. Let's bless God for their salvation. In Jesus' name we pray. Today we want to pray by praying for freedom from sins and deliverance for the oppressed. That even today, as many that are oppressed by the devil, cage into sin, globally we want to pray for them now and say, Lord, you that have been saving souls in time past from this crusade, today is a special day also. Let's commit those souls to the Lord and say, Lord, prepare their hearts, touch their life, bring them to the knowledge of the truth. Let them surrender their lives and receive the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. We are praying again for the light of the gospel to shine throughout the world, throughout the nations, throughout the territories of the world, through the counties, cities, provinces, towns, and villages, everywhere where we are having the crusade, either in the Alpha location or in the various locations all over Nigeria, in Africa, Europe, U.S., everywhere, in the Middle East. Let's pray and say, Lord, as the message is coming out centrally, it will go everywhere. It will reach through the social media. It will reach through the 
places where people are gathered, let's pray and say, Lord, release the word. Release the message. Release the anointing that will bring conviction of sinners to believe the Lord. I believe you are praying. You are talking to God about salvation of souls. And today God will save them in a miraculous way in Jesus' name. We are praying again. Can I hear that global amen? We praise God that is hearing our prayers. We want to pray for global conviction, global conversion, and global cleansing through faith in the precious blood of Jesus. Let us the Lord. There will be outpouring power of the Spirit of God with anointing upon our Father in the Lord, upon the, our pastor, Dr. Pastor W. of Kumui, that there will be special anointing, will come out with message of power that will bring conviction upon the people unconverted to be converted today. That's what we are praying for all. And God is listening. Let's pray. There will be multitude of souls turning to the kingdom of God globally in every location. Sinner will not come and go empty-handed. That is the preparation for their miracles. When they get the first miracle, which is salvation, other miracles will be easier. Let's pray that they will be convinced. They will be converted. And the Lord will change their life to the glory of his name. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's pray that God will prepare every heart, every longing soul, even though that are ignorant of the light of the gospel. The Spirit of God will convince them, will cause them to settle their mind and believe the word of the living God that will bring change in their life, conviction and conversion in their soul. The Lord is doing it as he's hearing our prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's praise God for the answers to our prayers today. Can I hear global amen? amen. Another amen. amen. Oh, Father, we thank you for today. It's a special day. Being third day of this global crusade. You have been saving souls before. You saved souls the first night. You saved souls yesterday. And today also will be a special day of redemption, day of salvation, day of turning around to receive you. Oh Lord, as we have prayed already, prepare the heart of the sinners worldwide, globally. They will listen to you, understand your voice, listen to your spirit pruning, and they will hand over their life. They will be converted, and there will be joy in heaven, joy on earth, Joy is in the life of the people receiving you. Confirm it now in Jesus' name. Amen. We believe your servants, you are prepared. He's going to release the word with anointing, with power, with vigor, with outpouring of your presence. And everything will be done to your own glory and will give you honor and pray for the answer already in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father, for the answer. For in Jesus' name, mighty name we pray amen. can i hear global amen amen, amen.